don't break into my house. And that's cool. Yeah, that, the heat that come, look at it. It's, it's burning right here. 45 Long Colt out of the new Taurus Judge Home Defender. I think a lot of you guys have seen the normal Judge before. Look at this. Judge Home Defender. This thing is literally made to defend your home. So we're going to defend some homes right now on some Infinity targets. Here we go. Yeah. I think I missed that one. It doesn't have as much kick as I thought it might have. And these are some big boy rounds. My favorite part is it can shoot these 45 long Colts, 250 grains, or it can shoot these 410 shotgun slugs. Now these ones are birdshot. Um, I want to shoot one just to see how much kick we have. Yeah, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that had a lot more kick. That's cool. Now you can get these shotgun shells um, in two and three quarter inch, I think. These are three inch ones. So these ones are a little bit more uh, max loaded, if, if you will. Uh, but today I'm going to be going over the new um, Judge Home Defender. So I'm gonna put this little hollow sun on here, little red dot. Yeah, that's cool, huh? So maybe I'll throw in a little flashlight right here, you know, so if someone breaks in the middle of the night, you can see what you're shooting at. <laughs> this is such a weird gun, such a weird thing. Let's see how accurate it is. I wanna shoot uh, at this infinity target right here, just kind of test out its accuracy. That was spot on, dude. Yeah. That should be that should be it, yeah. I'm kind of impressed with how easy it is to shoot. One, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so I loaded up some of these things are 410 shotgun and some of these things are 45 long colt. I want to show you why you might want to use different rounds under different circumstances. So first up is a 45 long colt, okay. <clears throat> That was a really good shot. <laughs> I'm really impressed. It's so easy just to hold this thing with two hands and kind of point and shoot. I didn't even really aim, hit my target dead center, okay? Now, um, it'll be another 45 right here, okay? Same thing. Yeah, that's easy. But now watch what the bird shot can do. This is gonna be the 410 shotgun. Man, just peppers that thing, dude. <laughs> it peppers that guy, let's go look. So the benefit of the 45 is you got one big hole, but the 410, you got like a hundred little baby holes. I want to look, I don't want to get peppered. Look away. Oh, <laughs> dang, dude, that rips a hole right through that guy's chest. Uh, let's see if I can hit that <clears throat> hostage situation. Bad guy comes in, he takes your kid. The black little circle there is the bad guy's head. You gotta use your 45 long Colt. Here we go. Ah, uh, I think I'm out. Yep, your kid just died. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what I think is cool about all revolvers is that you can pull the little hammer back, loads up the next round in the barrel, but now the trigger pull is very crisp. I wanna talk about how crisp that is here in one second. Let's see if I can save my kid's life. I'm a huge fan. Um, that was very easy to do. <laughs> Check out this trigger pull, okay? Watch this. There's no play, there's no creep. That thing, it's like glass. It's like glass breaking, dude. Boom, so smooth, okay? Now, if you don't have the hammer cocked back, you can still obviously pull it, but watch this. Not bad, but I really love how crisp that is. So what I love about this gun is one, it came with a Picatinny rail. You can throw an optic on any optic you want real quick. Two, it had a rail up top for a flashlight, um, for a laser, you can do a bipod, you can do a, you know whatever you guys want in the front. Um, but also it just, it shoots 410 shotgun. That's the coolest thing to me. Cause I don't have a lot of guns that just shoot 410 shotgun. And it's weird that I have a pistol that does now. So we're gonna load these things up. We're gonna go blow some stuff up right now. How about that? They say that the human body is 70% water. This is 100% agua fria. Check this out. 
Making it rain, baby. Don't break into my house. And that's cool. Yeah, that, the heat, that, look at, it's, it's burning right here. The heat blaster does work. What's happening is all that heat is hitting this, this thing right here. And when I'm holding it right there, it's in bouncing off my wrist. I can feel the heat on my wrist. Yes, I think I have one more. One-handed. Yeah. Okay, this is considered a, a, a pistol. The ATF deems pistols meant or intended for one-handed shooting, okay? Now, every pistol that I shoot, I shoot with two hands. So I don't know why the ATF cares about that. But what's funny about this is this is where you're supposed to grab this pistol, okay? Um, but normally with a revolver right there, you actually get a lot of heat and shrapnel and, and debris that comes out of your cylinder, okay? So what they did on this Defender, because it's meant for two-handed shooting, is they put a little heat shield right here on both sides. That way, when you're holding it like this and you're kind of punching out, you can see, you don't burn off your wrist, you don't get shot with debris or excess gunpowder, uh, little flames. With this, there's a heat shield. Does that mean that this gun is intended to shoot two-handed now, making it illegal according to the ATF? I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. You guys are gonna hate this, but I love it. Look at that spin. Yeah. All right, on steel, here we go. See that second trigger pull? If you don't cock the hammer back, it's a, it's a lot of pull. That's a lot of pull, but I love how easy that trigger is when you've already cocked the hammer back. That's it, huh? Yeah. Overall, I'm very impressed with this new uh, Judge Home Defender. I think they did this one right. The short ones just don't have enough barrel length to actually do anything. And this is a 13 inch barrel. That's long. So I feel like you have better accuracy, tighter spread with your, your 410. Um, I feels like you have a better, better action in the, on the, the cheaper versions, but this thing does retail for like 600 bucks. So let me know what you guys think.